our fourth and last day adventure in Boracay. Wednesday, 27 July 2022 In the past three days, we have been busy going around the beach, trying different activities, island hopping, food trips, and checking souvenir stores. Last day in Boracay. Now, on our last day in Boracay, it's time to relax and spend most of the time in the water. It's a windy day, but it does not hinder us from enjoying the day. I really love the quality of the fine white sand of the island. Jerome Bungalow Annex is a budget accommodation where we stay for 4 days and 3 nights. Located at Station 2 of Boracay, we enjoy our stay because of its affordable and reasonable price. You just need to book in advance to secure a slot. It's 12 p.m. when we leave Jerome's Bungalow. Kaya ba? We asked the assistance of Manuel to help us in our baggage. Manuel is the person we met on our first day at Boracay, who offered us the island hopping package, which includes lunch, snorkeling, and the unforgettable helmet diving experience.
Manuel assisted us from Boracay Island to Katiklan Aklan. My parents originate from the province of Aklan. My mom is from the clan of Juanico Carpio family. And my dad is from the clan of Jeronimo de Juan family. Both from Peliciano Balite Aklan. When we reached Calibo, we met Stanley. We asked him to drop us to Calibo City Mall to buy some stuff and to book flight to Manila for the coming days. He offered that he will going to wait for us and he will drive us till Pilisiano. Reaching Pelesiano. The last time I've been there was on 1994 when my parents bring me for the first time in the famous Boracay. Since childhood, my mom brings me in the province, which the ferry boat is our way of transportation traveling from Manila to Aklan. Oh, Nung 2004. 